Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here. Wanna know like, how are my adventures doing? As a degenerate that I am, I am finally going to play League of Maidens. I've had this game downloaded on my PC for like, I think a year now, and I never actually touched it. I mean, that's that's about the same as every other game I've played, really, <laughs> or planned on playing, which I'm gonna get to. Um, I do suffer from can't complete a game syndrome, so <laughs> it's just only natural things that I just don't play certain games that I download to. <laughs> but that's it. Let's go ahead and start. See how it is. It's only hilarious because I actually meant to try this out just for as a joke for the channel. Never got to it, and now here we are. <laughs> no thirst and greed for power knows no limit. And thirst and what lust. What is it? A source of immense power. If we can harness the energy from this stone, the United Nations can fight off any enemy, foreign or domestic. But power can be so corruptible. The world will be ours to command. Yes. We're under attack! Greater city is under attack! Retreat! We can't hold them off! We need backup! No, no, we need please. backup! Oh, okay. Well then. Their use of the shards will bring about their damnation. Oh, what's this? Them cheeks, God damn. Retain the power of the shards within the puny shells. Foolish humans. The shards I mean, that make up the creation stone are merely a housing to contain the destroyers. Hold on, it's like I got something I need to say about this. Find their new hosts, and when they do, they will live to serve me. Atonia. The world will be mine. I'd, and I'd no serve that. What? <laughs> mm. uh, so first off, it's kind of like humans are greedy in power. It's also like, oh, we're the government. We got to hold up a magic crystal that can empower anything. Yeah, let's let's do the, the first thing is corrupt the lizards and corrupt some bugs and corrupt some fucking birds yeah that yeah that that sounds about right <laughs> it was only for experimental purposes you know we're just gonna corrupt our own animals that are living among us <laughs> apparently the lizard got the upper hand <laughs> oh my god this is gonna be a the treat work. to work Hello, with friend. good to see you again <laughs> Oh, we're automatically jumping into glasses. Uh, there's the warrior. The tank. Look with your eyes, not with your hands. Keep warrior. them where I can see them. I mean, you will be able to see them, all right? What? The assassin. <laughs> oh, of course, the assassin has to be Japanese. All right. <laughs> all right. The healer. Please come closer and let me see your injuries. Why does this all sound seductive, dude? Maybe this is just a seductive type game. The sorceress. Take care. I am always here if you need my services again. The sorceress. I just wanted you to know somebody oh. cares about you. Okay, so Not there's like an evil and else does, I'm sure. good side. The warrior. Such lovely oh. smooth skin. It will make a fine coat. Ah, uh, can, can you not, please? It's my the skin. You shall suffer my oh, that's kind of dope. I'm not going to lie. That's kind of dope, and that voice fits well with this. The rest of them, the voices, in my opinion, don't fit the body. <laughs> oh, she's Japanese, too. So all the assassins are going to be Japanese. The healer. Oh, oh my. You are dazzling. She Looks like seems I'll be thinking about you all night. Okay, she seems more like a sorcerer with the top hat, like a magician, than a healer. But all right. The sorceress. I just wanted you to know somebody cares about you, not me, but somebody else does. I'm sure. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> I was gonna say, see that line sounds more like a healer, but it, all right, dude, fuck me towards the end. The shit. The warrior. <laughs> Such love. There's a the video warrior. here is a balanced and measured class that combines the best of both offense and defense. Oh, Vermilion's in the way. Hold on. Vermilion's in the way. the one-handed blade and the assault rifle, the warrior's power lies in her ability to switch between melee and ranged attacks, providing a deadly advantage in battle. 
the warrior's ability to generate a powerful ball of energy that can be hurled towards enemies at will, along with her ability to open portals from other dimensions to summon a meteor that hurls through oh, the sky, excuse me? crushing down on her Pretty opponent. Pretty sure that's below, a mage thing, not a warrior thing. Make her a formidable opponent, but it is her command of lightning that can strike down her opponents in a devastating instant. She is definitely a fucking a mage. Hello. A deadly combatant <laughs> on the battlefield. The warrior's wide range of skills and abilities make her an excellent choice for beginners and advanced players alike. Pretty sure the warrior's the mage. <laughs> We're not going to skip that. The tank. You shall suffer my wrath. The tank is a powerful class that balances its slower speed with the ability to absorb massive amounts of damage. I see, I see. Tell me more. The one-handed blade and the shotgun. The deadly combination <laughs> Dude, of the tank with a shotgun. Hello. With the devastating damage dealt from a shotgun blast at close range allows the tank to charge headfirst into battle like no other. With the unique ability to Why take you on just make a gunner? of enemies at once, the tank uses raw and brutal aggression that is up close and personal to ensure Dude. the total devastation of anyone who opposes her. Along with the ability to generate a powerful ball of energy that can be hurled towards enemies at will. The tank can also hurl giant boulders from the sky that will crash down on any enemies within range. Uh, I see we have the worse, theme of just the boulders. The aggression <laughs> is taken to the next level when she has reached her breaking point. Any enemy in close proximity can and will be incinerated by her eternal rage. A deadly huh? close range she burst just takes of off magic in the sky. and fire that disintegrates anyone unfortunate enough to contest her. Last, but definitely not least, the tank's Yo, what the extended fuck? skills allow for her oh unique ability to grow at will to sizes larger than skyscrapers, yeah, with even more defensive capability and elevated attack damage, making her unstoppable. Oh, so that's why the, the tank's body exists. And devastating Makes sense. close range attacks make her an excellent choice for those looking to get their hands dirty in battle. Wait, what was that old like cartoon where there was this Indian dude that could change his size? I. That is exactly what it reminds me. <laughs> I cannot remember the words he said. Apache chief? I, th I, I think, oh, no, I think that's it. He said, e -nun -ch something like that. <laughs> uh, my childhood is it's still with me somewhat. <laughs> that's the only reason why the tank just vibes with me. But first off, I can say this. As he's saying the skills, the videos do not sync up to where the abilities was until she grew a size. He was talking about heart, throwing boulders, and I was just seeing her fly out of nowhere. Then he was talking about fucking throwing an energy ball. I didn't see that either. <laughs> but when she started to grow, it was just like, now she can grow in size. And I was just sitting here like, oh, wow. <laughs> Something that you've actually shown me that they do. <laughs> The Assassin. The Assassin is perhaps the deadliest class of them all. With her incredible Damn, dude, she movement fast speed, as fuck. attack strength, and her ability to evade and counter incoming attacks, the Assassin dominates the battlefield, striking down her enemies with impunity. The Assassin's primary weapons are the one-handed blade and the sniper rifle. With a steady hand and focused trigger, the sniper rifle can deliver instant oh, death wow, with a headshot rifles. from a distance. The assassin's lowered overall health Wait. is balanced by her devastating ability to surprise a distracted enemy, to cut them down where they stand. Her skills allow her to generate a circular blade that can be hurled through the air and controlled to change targets at I will. I just saw Summon Dragon the as a skill. can also generate a blessed circle of fire, granting an increased attack strength to herself and allies within the circle. Oh, so the everybody can fly. Of this blessed circle and the sniper rifle grants her the nickname the Angel of Death. These skills okay. are further complemented with her ability to cloak herself with temporary invisibility. Oh. This invisibility I'm still not cloak, seeing the invisibility. combined with her ability to instantly blink across the battlefield, allows the assassin to use stealth and speed to position herself perfectly to make the most of her instant strike um with proper management of her health the assassin's blazing speed and instant attack capability make her a dominating opponent that can decide the fate of the battle in an instant okay 
So why not just make a gunner class with all these guns? You literally just could have made a ranger. <laughs> you could have just been like, hey, dude, she has a katana and she has like dual knives. She has like a chain blade, you know, anything else. You could have gave the tank a fucking glaive <laughs> or an axe. Literally any of those. You could have took all the guns and made a gunner. <laughs> but what ifs, dude? What ifs? The healer also has a gun. You are fascinating. Okay. It's your cringe it looks like I'll be dialogue out of the way. You. The healer is a okay, specialized go. support class that she combines literally skips around healing tactics to tip the scale of scythe? battle in her favor. Her primary weapons are the one-handed blade and the ability to wield fire in rapid succession to overwhelm her opponents. Best suited for long-range combat, um, the healer's attacks are complemented by her ability to generate a circular what's blade. What's the point of the sorcerer if everybody can use magic? <laughs> and controlled to change targets at will. Do you want the healer to Apart use light from magic? These offensive attacks, Just the like healer's true light strength beams? lies in her ability to use magic to summon altars to grant healing to herself and any oh, allies okay, within here range. We go. This ability is also complemented by the healer's ability to self-heal, making her a difficult opponent to defeat on the battlefield. The healer's ability to she attack can summon a turret and her ability to revitalize the party Just make an engineer. makes her an essential addition on the battlefield. Literally summons a turret. Why didn't we just make an engineer? There's so many like out of place weapons and abilities that are inside of this game so far the sorceress i just wanted you to know somebody cares about you not me but i else i feel that sure the sorceress <laughs> is a powerful support class that delivers death with tricks and deception having mastered the dark energy of the creation stone the sorceress uses this magic to conjure weapons of complete and total destruction on the battlefield her primary wow. weapons are the one-handed blade and the My ability eyes. to wield fire in rapid succession to overwhelm her opponents. So Unlike it's the, the same healer, thing that you just sorceress said sorceress combines about the healer. her techniques of devastating melee attacks with her long-range conjuring abilities to tip the scales of battle in her favor. Along with her ability to generate a circular blade she that can has be hurled a turn as well. the air and controlled to change targets at will. Her ability to summon turrets that will defend positions of interest make her a defensive what? nightmare. If this wasn't uh, uh, bad enough, the sorceress mm, uses her precious my brain resource of magic with versatility, allowing her to also summon the mystical rock giants from the nether realm to deliver a single and crushing blow to enemies in proximity. The sorceress's deadly attack strength, combined with her long-range conjuring abilities, make her a formidable and deadly opponent on the battlefield. I have a lot of questions about that, considering the fact that we're using magic spells and it's just like, huh, turn. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no, time stat. Okay, really? They have those the for how long you play. The sorceress. So we're gonna to go ahead and make me, a sorcerer. Because sure. we're gonna make Vermilia if we can. You guys don't know who Vermilia is? It's our mascot. Yep, that's our mascot. You guys chose Vermilia as our pool. So Vermilia it is. Great. <laughs> So I'm wondering if you could change like size because Vermilia is sort of like, you know, pretty short, you know. Question is, will there be like character like creation now? Because I know nothing about this game, like too much of it. All I remember is just like it caused like a lot of <laughs> a lot of controversy. <laughs> Which was hilarious because it's just like, it's, it's a game, who cares? If you don't like it, just don't play it, you know? That type of ordeal. Uh, let's see. Animations, there's pets and mounts, what the heck? Oh, that's a money thing. Okay, so this game has in-game currency as well. Um, 
Okay, what is the calendar about then? You give me an exclamation point and that kind of pisses me off because I don't know what it's for now. <laughs> so we have scythes noted. Then there's outfits here that we can choose from with our own stats. Noise. Oh. Congratulations! Free stuff. Hooray! That's what it is. Then, as Good you play, job. you open up stuff. Then there's the uh, cheat codes that you can unlock too. <laughs> what the fuck is this game? <laughs> Okay, hairs. I was to say, as long as the hairs aren't limited, I'm okay with that. Uh, okay, there is height. Alright, maybe we can design Vermilia in this. Hold on a second. I'm not sure how short that is, though. That's the only issue. I guess about, like... I have no idea. Okay, so this is like shoulder length. This isn't like yes wise. Okay. Uh guess we'll start on face first. I I wanna take off all this extra crap that's on your face. It's gonna take a lot of time for sure. <laughs> I might time skip it. Okay, so what I've learned around this point, um, there hasn't, there's not much of like body or belly options at all from what it looks like. So we're just gonna have to, we're just gonna have to change it up a bit apparently. Cause you can't do anything else about the belly there's other races you can be like a dragon or just your normal self okay okay there's not many hairs to like choose from you can't really do too much for like familiar's hair Um, because <laughs> I don't think any any game's gonna ever have Amelia's type hairs. Uh, this I guess this would probably be the closest that we're gonna get to her hair. <laughs> I wish you can hover over the rest and know what they look like at least. This. That was kind of poofy, maybe. Yeah, we can ever have like a familiar with our hair and put up like this. <laughs> hey, don't tip me. Uh, I I will get a. Uh... Okay, 
I was like, I'll get that art done. <laughs> Don't tempt me. Your sword will uh, definitely hook us up with that. But yeah, there's not many like open clothes right now. I think we have to earn those basically as we play through it. So yeah, this is all we got. Oh. Um, it kind of sucks that there's no like actual like stomach options too. Because as you guys can see down there, Familia does have kind of like a little pot belly. Uh, nope. I guess that's it, really. Other than, I guess, uh, skin, body. Oh, wow, there's presets. I didn't even see that. Oh, this is weird. Oh, okay. There's stuff for over here, too. For, like, mounts and stuff. Oh, okay. So it doesn't give me any options for a belly, though. All it cares, all its options are for is arms, body, breasts, uh, legs, and genitalia. That's that's basically it. Nothing more from that. So that kind of sucks. <laughs> How do we do this again? This way. I say there's no beauty marks, which you would you would actually think a game like this would actually have a beauty mark. Which definitely surprised the hell out of me. That's all it has. And teeth is useless to change because you can't really see the teeth unless I guess change animation maybe. No, it's expression. Um. Familia is very cocky, so. Okay, there we go. Let's see. Let's see what teeth options you, you have. Familia does have sharp teeth, and I guess the only thing that's going to be close to that is that. <laughs> okay, then. Also, Snake Six. He's just hold on a second. All right. So that's apparently supposed to be sexy. <laughs> uh, I guess this is the best familiar we're actually gonna get. Okay. So these are idle animations. So much jiggle. I ain't saying that there's nothing wrong with that. Oh, there's an just dance too. What the hell is this? Ah, oh, well, that's actually kind of hilarious considering that this is really close to where all Vermilion is standing. Um, another thing is that there's no like nail options too, from what I've seen. There's wings, there's tattoos, horns, there's chokers, ears, tail, glasses, oh, there's masks too. 
hat wear. And then there's capes. I guess we can give Amelia a cape, why not? Uh, color, wow, okay, that, that controls that. All right, this is, that's basically it. That's, that's the best we can do. All right, how do we start the game? <laughs> that's, that's the real question. Okay, so I can hide the weapon too. Wow, whoa, I don't remember making those torpedoes. Hold on a second. <laughs> no, I was say, dude, you can do pretty much anything you feel like, really. <laughs> I I don't even think this is like a multiplayer game. I think it's mostly just single player. Oh shit, main character. Amelia has joined the battle. Okay, so it doesn't matter. It's all gonna be all caps either way. Now we'll finally get to enjoy the games after like 30 minutes. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, that transition actually wasn't half bad. Sign up for premium. Unlimited customizations after uh, awakening. Awakening, okay. Interesting. There's daily challenges and stuff like that. Okay. Just seems like a mobile game when I actually look at this. <laughs> Looking at this just reminds me of a straight mobile game. Oh, well, fuck you, game. Just had to be a one, huh? Non VIP fucking sabotage. That's all it is. Oh wow, there's there's a battle pass too. <laughs> oh, that bear cloak doesn't look that bad, not gonna lie. But that's like tank stuff. Uh, and there's cow outfits too. Hmm. Interesting. This is This is definitely a very lewd type of game you know hey to each its own now oh wait it costs stuff to open chests the fuck dude yeah let's use my key to open the epic one what do i get oh my god this summoning animation my eyes fishing congratulations <laughs> Yes, you're now allowed to fish. I was gonna be honest with you, I didn't want to sit in front of sit there for that either. So I can add friends. Oh, so I can make other characters that'll join me on my adventure? That seems interesting. There's oh, okay, so there's little uh challenges that we can do, main missions to get new things as well. Welcome aboard, Cadet. All right, we, we got the size pretty good, I'll say that. <laughs> yeah, Vermilia is fine. There we go, even though I changed it to Vermilia, but it's just like, oh, that's cool, dude. <laughs> You're still Wolf. Oh, I hope My name okay. is Private Williams. You've got a long day ahead of you. No time to waste, so let's get started. 
Go, oh, Private Williams. Are you... You'll need to get checked in. You'll find the registration upstairs in the dormitory. I hope this doesn't come off in the wrong way, but I sure do feel a lot safer with your kind around. Yeah, <laughs> war maidens, I mean. Didn't mean any offense by it. I'm just happy to have you around with the crazy Lure. going on in Freedom City. Anyway, good luck out there. <laughs> My God, I earned cape. It's a versus a PVP, dude. I would hate PVPing against fucking rogues. <laughs> okay, so there's a dash. Okay. <laughs> So these actual players, if these are actual players, then it is definitely online then. I don't have that ability at this time. Okay, noted. So it's pointing me this way. What the hell? Okay, the the way marker just is fucked. It's, it's basically scuffed as hell. I gotta go find stairs. Because I definitely don't see stairs that way. Unless that's an elevator. I have a gun. Welcome Great aboard, to know. Is that an elevator? No, it's not. I didn't think it was. Ah, oh, I can greet people. Goodbye. Oh, the stairs over there. I see it. I mean, the map isn't half bad. They just need to work on a way marker and it giving you routes. This wind effect is fucking deafening. That's for sure. Jesus Christ. I have the need for fucking speed, brother. <laughs> Hi. Welcome to the dormitory. My name is Aiko. How can oh I? Oh my God! Housing? Is there a housing, dude? I believe Doctor Fang is expecting you. Let's get you checked in and registered, shall we? Okay. So today is. Hmm. Yes. And the time. Right. Okay. Your name? Damn right. Got it. And your classification? Okay, great. That just about covers it. Tis a beige. You're all checked in. Dr. Fang will be waiting for you downstairs at the treatment center. Head over and introduce yourself. On your way, feel free to say hi to my sisters Echo and Aiko downstairs. It's their first day and they're a bit nervous. Working as vendors for the UNDC is a big step up for them. Feel oh free to say hello. That's it. Okay. Now. If I can be of any further assistance, feel free to come. God back. damn, girl, you got some thunder thighs on you, Jesus. <laughs> but I got. Uh, let's let's go ahead. And, uh, uh, my ears. Can I hear anything? <laughs> nope. Deaf now. <laughs> but I was just gonna say it's probably like the Nurse Joy thing, you know? They all look the same. Oh, I can't jump. Feels bad, mate. <laughs> my legs are crippled. <laughs> God damn it. Ah. Welcome, cadet. My name is Dr. Jiang Li Fang. I oversee the physical and psychological well-being of our new cadets. We're working under the jurisdiction of the United Nations Defense Council, or UNDC for short. It is their efforts in Project War Maiden that has allowed us to run trials on willing candidates, such as yourself, to pinpoint and manipulate genes, elevating you to metahuman status. Okay. Or what we'd like to call beyond human. When it comes to your physical, psychological, and intellectual attributes, yes. Compared I is just to too smart for my own good. You are stronger, faster, smarter, and more resilient. Sure. That uses turrets. <laughs> like a superhero. The procedure only seems to have been effective on a limited number of candidates. All female. 
Consider yourself as being one of the lucky ones. Unless if you're a mech, that's a different story. <laughs> Don't get ahead of yourself, cadet. There's a few requirements before you run off and fight the bad guys. But when you're done here, you'll report to Major Frost. She's better suited to answer that question. This is what I can tell you. As a cadet, you are to continue your training under the supervision of instructors, as I follow your physical and psychological development. As soon as I deem you ready for active duty, you'll be a part of the Freedom City Rescue Recon. Wow, that's a mouthful. Great. Great. Can't Let's wait to do that. To your first treatment. We're gonna stab yes. you with needles, run! These treatment beds are designed to administer your dosage of tea, or Tessagen X, a serum designed to help you- I was about to say tea doesn't sound half bad, evolves. actually. <laughs> the human body isn't built to withstand such a rapid pace of development. Tessagen X helps with the transition. I hope you're not afraid of needles. <laughs> not to worry, ah. robotic administration is calibrated for precision. Besides, you're a superhero, right? <laughs> Not kicking your shins on just that fucking eye level. <laughs> no, do fucking tint me. No, that's a big ass fucking needle. First off, motherfucker. Like what? Ow, dude! Just take my whole leg, why don't you? The fuck? <laughs> Dude, hell no. Those aren't needles. Those are just fucking. Uh, and I'm dead. <laughs> I, I just started the game and sorry, my first step. First off, no. You're still going? My leg. There's more? Oh my god, there's more. Help! Please! Dude, I'm pretty sure that- Look at it, it was going for another one! <laughs> I'm pretty sure that thing took more than just giving me dosage. See? That wasn't too bad, right? Dude, my now. Your next stop skin is the gun and tissue are all moved out of place. <laughs> well, just head over there. This is where it starts to get interesting. Pretty much explains why I have fucking low HP when I first started. <laughs> They've been trying to kill me since the first day. They almost succeeded since I was in the red. Fine potty mouth. That's a fantastic gun. That is a classic name, but I don't know if I'm going the right way. Am I? It seems like it's at a lower level. Maybe I am? Maybe there's downward stairs? Maybe? The fuck? Map? Uh, is it attack training? The fuck is this place? My way marker doesn't help. Ah, wait a minute. Here it is. Way marker sucks. Fuck you. <laughs> ah, is this the place? What, am I lock picking to get inside that fucking door? <laughs> oh, you. Why am I walking? Hello? Hey there. So you're the new cadet, huh? Nice to meet you. The name's Potty Mouth. 
Yeah, it, it's just a nickname, you know? <laughs> I tend to drop an F-bomb or two. Uh, by the way, the language gets colorful, so make sure no kids are around. Got it? Yeah, uh, so don't worry. Started. We're all good about colorful. I have a very, very, very short. You can access it by using either the one, two, three, or four short keys on vocabulary. your keyboard, depending on the class that you selected. Most classes start out with a different rifle. If you don't have a rifle, rapid fire projectile is your go-to skill. Really? Hey, don't be a fucking idiot. You and I both know what's happening here. Best we just hey, get through bitch. this so we can get to the fun <laughs> stuff. Okay. Glad to see you're a fast learner. <sighs> Let's get to it, shall we? Pick a lane. Any lane. Minimum score to pass is 25. You can score by hitting the target's center chest or the head. Got it? Oh, okay. You'll need ammo and a few range tickets to get the session started. You can pick oh, them up at the table over there if you haven't already. Use up those tickets and you'll have to find a vendor to get more. Good luck. <laughs> Oh, okay. Okay, so how do you start it? Oh, okay, there we go. The aiming is a half ad. Just reminds me of Warframe. What the fuck? And I play a uh, shit ton of Warframe. <laughs> like I said, I think I still have like a thousand and three hundred something hours in that. <laughs> if not something. Let's just say it's over a thousand hours. <laughs> like I was addicted to that game to the point where I made it like towards the end and everything. Then they started releasing like these fucking titans and shit that we had to fight in the field. Yeah, fun times. <laughs> now I'm just burnt out of the game considering the fact that I've collected so many things. Kind of like when you first start out warfare, you're just like, dude, I love collecting and, you know, all these new random mods and shit. And it's just kind of like, I'm farming places for those, uh, what? Okay. They didn't, whatever. <laughs> kind of like, hey, dude, I'm loving farming this place Ooh, over and over again for the mod. Not too bad, Cadet. Not too bad. There's hope for you yet. Next stop is attack training upstairs. On your way, you, uh, might want to access the keyboard guide on your desktop. No, no, no. Not that desktop. Oh, jeez. I mean the one you access by hitting the escape key while you're in the lobby. Yeah, yeah, yeah that desktop. Your desktop has a lot of neat features. Okay, why well, didn't you just say the pause access menu? Access loadout from there as well. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's where you'll go to upgrade the gun you just fired. Ooh, uh, yeah, anyways, uh, use the loadout interface to unlock, craft, and upgrade Fourth your wall skills, breaking. perks, and Fantastic. Oh, one more thing. I'm the equipment manager here. 
come back at any time if you're looking for gun upgrades, ammo, or anything else in that apartment. Head upstairs and find Private Meeks to get started on attack training. Good luck out there, cadet. You're going to need it. Dude, how dare you belittle me? Fucking rude. Okay, so this is where I change my attacks and everything. Okay, okay. Mouse one, mouse fucking do, you know, you know, okay, okay. Got some motherfucking lightning. Yeah, nice. Got some Titan summoning, summoning. Ah, so that's what that is. Is that all it does is just slams down? Okay. It's kind of boring, but all right. This is a dragon summoning. Summoning. Oh, okay. That was kind of boring too. Um, <laughs> Then there's a fucking fire tornado. Hell yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to be open about this, but it's making it hard. Um, then there's invisibility cloak. Okay, so you could just pretty much mix all your abilities together. Anybody can use anything, so it's just kind of like fuck classes that exist. <laughs> You're just picking what you start out with is basically what it is. Okay, fair enough. This is one of those type of games. You don't want players to be locked out from certain abilities and shit like that, basically. So this is basically just a sandbox game. If you're gonna kind of set it up like that, really. Hello, I'm not gonna lie, the UI confuses the hell out of me over time. I'm just looking at this thing up here and it's just kind of like, oh, wow, that's cool. Then I'm looking at this thing on the right over here and I'm just like, oh, wow, that's a lot of stuff. Now I'm looking at the bottom right, then I'm just sitting here like, okay, that's, that's, that's more stuff to look at. <laughs> there, Don't know what it does, but you know, and if I touch it, I'll probably fuck it up somehow. Oh my God, there's different chats too. Are we not going to talk about that? There's factions, there's role playing, there's dirty talk. <laughs> yeah, <all> right then. <laughs> Welcome to the attack training station, cadet. Okay, I was just trying to use. Expecting you. Well, I'll see if I can use any of my skills over here. Oh, that's not uncommon around here. The UNDC spots potential assets at a very young age. From there, they begin grooming us for service. It's an honor, really. Oh my. Um, yeah, no question. Anyway, this attack training station is one of two stations located inside this base. The other one is the defense training station. It's just across the hall over there. Here, you'll be able to level up the attack stat associated with your currently equipped melee weapon. Each melee weapon has its own progression, so make sure to pay attention to which one you have equipped before training. To get started, okay. step onto the mat and select a position by pressing and holding the one key on your keyboard. Once that's done, the training dummy will activate and begin the attack training session. The session doesn't require any inputs and takes about 60 seconds to complete. You can okay. train up to one time per in-game day. You'll find the current oh, in-game day and time okay. on the top right of so your screen. So this is basically like the, the HP app. thing. This is literally the HP thing. Great. Let's give it a go, shall we? You have to come here just to get your attack up like they were doing with your, uh, getting poked with needles. Um, pick my position. Okay, here we go. This bot is flipping the fuck out. Okay, I'm not doing anything. I'm literally just watching. <laughs> so yeah, it's it's exactly like the whole get on the table and get stabbed in the arm and bleed out on the table. <laughs> Dude, why does that robot have such a dump truck? <laughs> I 
Okay, can we hurry up with this? This is pretty anime though, not gonna lie. It said it'll take up to 60 seconds, which is literally just a minute. You know, there could have been a skip button for this or something. Congratulations! Thank you, like holy shit. I'm definitely calling this a mobile game. It, that's actually what the fuck this is. It's a mobile game. <laughs> Great job! You look like a natural out there. Such skill. Such Die. Oh, one more thing. Damn. Your max. Wow, you are new, huh? Your guard okay, level I can is push your count level. Increasing it gives you access like to the certain skip. game mechanics that require higher levels. It's the level located at the top left of your screen. If you're not familiar with a guardian level, then you probably don't have any idea what an awakening level is either, huh? Nope. <laughs> Jeez Louise. I sure do hope you're cut out for all this. I was shooting your, your leg. level is your character level. It measures the progression of the character you're currently using. Using the War Maiden management interface on your desktop allows you to create up to 12 War Maidens. Each will have their own awakening level. Oh. Your awakening level is the level hovering over your head right now. It's followed by your awakening title and a three-letter abbreviation for your class. To increase your awakening level, you'll need to awaken your War Maiden first. To do that, click on your character's icon on the bottom left of your desktop. Oh, one more thing. Just about everything has its own progression level, including your account, your character, weapon, shield, outfit, gear, pets, and much more. Well, that's it for attack training. Head over to the other side of the hall. Private Howard is waiting on you to begin your defensive training. Good luck. Okay, cool. What was that shit you were talking about earlier? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So my character at the bottom left, you mean the bottom right? Ah, uh, bottom left somewhere. Oh, is it the whole desktop thing? Okay, yeah, here it is. Success! Okay, so I awakened. Noise. Got another purification. this shuffle ticket oh, I don't even know what the hell I just clicked on oh this is <laughs> literally a beach scene we're wow <laughs> This just reminds me, it's just, for some reason, this just reminds me of fucking Unity, and I hate it already. <laughs> Why the fuck do I have a shield, first off? Can we talk about that? Can I go upwards, down, nope. Oh. Can I transcend it? No, uh, apparently I cannot. I got some gold for doing the dose. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure what's going on here. <laughs> uh, the more and more I get deeper in this game, the, the happier I am that I just made this video. <laughs> There's like so many things don't make sense and it's just like this game's all over the fucking place. But it's one of those type of adult games that you, you won't see often because you know too many people are like really scared to go down this route and like make something very intense like this. You know they're afraid of criticism and shit like that. It's just kind of like dude get over it.
I was saying, some people over exaggerate, some of them won't, you know. Some of them just go, in the, go with the flow of life like me. It's like, why should I waste every bit of my life it's just being aggressive towards things like this? <laughs> hey there, darling. Hope proper meeks wasn't too hard in you, darling. I could hear his Oh, wow, well, you actually wasn't... sound a lot older than everybody else. <laughs> Not to worry. <laughs> Good old private. <laughs> this here is the defense training station. Okay. Only difference is it levels up the defense stat on the shield you have equipped. Just like the weapons, each shield has their own progression. <laughs> Think long and hard about the shield you equip. And they're all the same. For Gotta look good when you're out there kicking ass. <laughs> Am I, I feel right? it. Now, before you get on the mat, you'll need to equip your shield. To do that, then you'll want to click on the care. From there, click on the icon that's got all that. Okay. <laughs> Great. Now go on. Get your shield out. Get those sweet cheeks on the mat. Got this, darling. <laughs> yeah, this guy. <laughs> Whoever voice acted that, I swear. <laughs> so this is literally just the same thing. It's a tech training. Okay. We're gonna have a lot of jump cuts. And in this instance, we call it corn cuts at this point. <laughs> it's gonna be fun editing this video. If it's not glitched out or laggy or choppy or anything like that. I made sure to increase like all the graphics once I like started up the game. All right, I think we're just gonna leave this as an introduction. You know what? Run up those likes, and I will make a follow-up video to this. <laughs> as for now, I guess we'll just leave it at this and see if YouTube just fucking uh, demonetizes it. <laughs> Even with the amount of editing that I'll do, <laughs> you're like, oh, is that is those Good are those job. tits? Nope, get it out of here. <laughs> My awakening level went up. Woohoo! Great, dude. I'm gonna talk to you right before we darling. leave. How dare you? Woo! Now that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Nothing sexier than a girl that can kick ass and look hot while she's doing it. That is you true. Got the touch, girly. You're a fighter. <laughs> like the attack training, your defense level is capped by your guardian level, and same okay. as the attack station. You can train defense up to one time each in-game day. Oh, and before I forget, your shield is extremely important. Use it to block incoming attacks when you're out fighting any bad guys out there. To use the shield, press down on your middle mouse button. Release to exit your shield stance. Well, that's it for now. Major Frost is expecting you in the command center. And Dr. Fang's providing her with a progress update as we speak. Oh, I see, I see. Philip, call me Philip. And don't be a stranger. <laughs> you come back anytime. Be glad to have you. Why can't I jump, motherfucker? <laughs> but yeah, that's <laughs> that's pretty much a tutorial introduction. I'm not sure if we have more or anything like that. But hey, like I said, if you guys run up the likes on this video, I will make a follow-up video, and we'll probably. More than likely keep playing until we actually get into outside combat, you know. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys on the next one. This has been Wolf. Until then, peace out.